Hey everyone, wanted to do a real quick review on the Specialized Fuel Cell. Saw a lot of complaints about it being a little bit too small. I have to agree with that myself, but I found some ways that'll work for me, so hopefully I can give you a hand here. I do apologize to the neighbor's weed eating, so if that cuts in, I'll do my best to edit out the uh, background noise. So uh, for me, what I found is that a couple other videos suggested it too as well. You do need to put the top in and draw a line so you know where your uh, components in the bottom can sit or shouldn't go over. I am a triathlete myself. I've done a couple Ironman. I currently have 10 goo packets in the top here and I'll pull them out for you. They are pretty sturdy. You really do have to shove them in. Uh, it seems to be about eight. I took two out there for you. It seems to be about eight fit almost perfectly. Um, mine. I did take it off the bike a couple times and put it on top of the car and drove off and, and it's got a couple battle marks there. But there are eight packets in here, four, three, four five, six, seven, eight. Uh, you do kind of have to squish them together, you got to place them in there. Uh, I try to get at least three in the back part here, uh, side by side. Uh, kind of packed in here like this and then I'll have another two in the top packed that way and then the other three I'll have two in front here it seems to fit kind of perfectly and then one in the back here and you as you can see you can fit two more in there um, I do have pockets on my jerseys and in my uh, shorts so I am able to use those but once you do take them out the top kind of it becomes a little bit flimsy it tends to work its way up so if that is empty um, that's something you're gonna have to watch out for so the top if you don't know or haven't seen just comes right off uh, inside here um, you really have to pack it down really have to remember how it goes as well so I have a co2 canister um, the top the press valve I do have a smaller one that would fit better but I, I like this one better because I have more control over it and then I do have a spare tube uh, I do like to carry two tubes and two co2 canisters with me what I do is that I s store my other tube and my canister underneath my seat I have them wrapped together and they're they're shoved up underneath my seat so the tube itself I've had to take out of the box uh, and actually rewrap it so you unravel it um, if you do like to test them you can blow it up uh, and then I've had to actually rewrap it and I've had to actually as I was wrapping it pull it a little bit tighter I know it stretched out uh, hopefully that doesn't affect the structural integrity of the tube itself uh, when I did put it in here it was inflated like this and I do know uh, using a rubber band I might get some flack for that but uh, this is what I found works for me uh, you do have to end the tube on one side and you're gonna want to put the smaller uh, thinner side in the bottom part of your fuel cell here and then the thicker to uh, top part up in the, the top part so uh, with my dotted line I know that I can't go over that and you really have to shove this thing in here so uh, go ahead start your angle push it on the top and you can kind of see the rubber band that I use it's one of those broccoli rubber bands from the store uh, I've wrapped it around five or six times it's it's pretty tight which which makes it a little bit better easier to squeeze into I could probably fit one over the top here to make it a little bit more but then you stick out on the top so um, but you really got to squeeze it down push it down in there so it stays below your line you can then take your co2 tank uh, and I've done threads up you kind of squeeze it in and you're using the rubber from the tube itself to kind of hold it in place right next to the rubber band there and you can kind of see it it goes just below the line and then whatever top or, or whatever uh, valve you're using you really have to uh, squeeze that in there as well uh, but this one the best that I found is if you place uh, the thread part where the co2 cartridge goes towards you just on top of it just like this and kind of finagle it in there so it does kind of sit kind of flat because if you angle a little bit too much what will happen is that uh, you'll go above the line and you won't be able to fit your top part and I mean you really have to pack it in here uh, it can be kind of frustrating to, to make sure everything fits and to get it in there uh, especially if you want to keep like a multi-tool or something I usually if I do take one with me on a long ride alone I'll, I'll put it in one of my back pockets but what you can do is shove it all in there and I mean you really have to tighten this pack this thing in uh, it, if it was, I don't know, maybe a half inch bigger, a couple centimeters bigger, that'd be a lot better. Uh, but then the top just slides back on and it slides right back into your bike. So hopefully this helps. 